I guess, great-grandchild is off to daycare in, in the UK. And in this daycare, they don't let the kids have best friends because that's unfair. I thought, you know, sometimes you see something that's so stupid you can't even believe it, 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 it exists. And that was one of those examples because it's been known for quite a long time that one of the developmental milestones that children attain somewhere between, say, the age of 5 and 10 is they pick a best friend. And so they, and, and you know, the, the hypothesis is, well, that's unfair to all the other children. It's like, well, first of all, you can't be the best friend to everyone because you then maybe there's a billion children, so each of them gets one second. It's like that's just not a very deep relationship. So the idea that you can be equally friendly with everyone is it's a preposterous. But even worse, the thing is, the thing that the child's doing is actually becoming. They're, they're stepping out of their egocentricity because their best friend becomes more important than they are. And that's a precursor for adult relationships where, you know, if you're married, well, your, your partner should be at least as important as you are, and the relationship should be more important. But then when you have children, it's like, they're more important than you. That, that's that. It's, unless there's something wrong with you, you come second and your children come first. And they're way first. They're not just a little... I mean, you're necessary because without you, they're not going to manage. So you have to take care of yourself. But you're not number one anymore once you have kids, unless... Seriously. Unless you didn't learn the lessons in the playground. And when you have a best friend, you're not number one. They are. And so... Well... So anyways, there are these constraints that emerge in the, in the social landscape. You have to have friends, and also you have to single someone out as particularly unique among those friends and establish a genuinely reciprocal and caring relationship. I can't remember the psychiatrist who studied this so intently. Um, unfortunately, he was the first person to, to do a detailed analysis of the best friend relationships that children established. It's, I'd like to give him credit for his ideas, but unfortunately I can't remember his name. 